You are so rude. You've got to say hello to your audience. Don't just dive into hey, no, stuff. Hey, no, this is going to be one film, so I've already like, no, said hello. No, it isn't. Hello. It might not be. It, it, it. No. Oh. This is my newest toy. Flex machine. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay, let's just start. nearly two inches of oak. It's not really su su surprising it was struggling. Okay, so that's the bottom of the door, I believe. Yeah, that's the bottom of the door cut. That's where you're gonna put your kicker anyway. Yeah, yeah, good thinking actually. Uh, yeah, kicker, uh, no, that's the inside of the door. Yeah, so the kicker's gonna go on the outside of the door. Uh, okay, and we'll through fix it. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, have forgotten the measurement. <laughs> this thing? Yeah. This thing here? Yeah. Dying inside. <laughs> your bender is killing me. Yeah, fall over, you bastard. <laughs> um, it's 192.3 in it, but I'm going to double check that because we took. I don't know. I wasn't there. What was it? 1923. You really live these things when you're making projects like this. You end up remembering the bloody measurements of the silliest things. Well, so that is our cut. Double check we're on that mark here. Yeah. Uh, saw please. Shit, I'm gonna have to pull that over as well. Ah, oh, crap. Cheers, mate. Okay. <laughs> So that's closing on the blade. You need a wedge. You need a wedge. That'll okay, work. that'll have to do. That'll do. Woo! That was some good stuff. Right, so that's top and tail. Let's double check our measurement. Bosh, bosh, bosh. One, nine, two, five, okay. <laughs> One, eight, six? No. Uh, yeah, so we're probably a mil over, but I'm happy with that. Because we'll probably do that just adjustment when we're there on site fitting it or hanging the door. So what I suggest we do is 
get on with the window. Should we just do it? Uh, we're going to need to make up a little jig for the router. Uh, so, thanks matey. We'll go to that end. Just because, let's get this right, this is the outside of the door. Okay, eight inch window. How are we going to do it? I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> no. Um, 10 inches on in off the top. Okay, so that's our window. Just gonna double check everything. Just make sure it's kind of set where it should. Just, just over 11 inches. Okay, 11, that's fine. So that is the outside. So essentially we're gonna have a grill on here that we're gonna fabricate up. Before that, let's cut the aperture and let's cut the rebate on the other side. Uh, this is some extra footage for today because Sweet Papa Al, he was tired um, after doing those clinkerings. And he said to his good friend, Uncle Mark, hey, I ain't doing any more, but now suddenly I am. Now this isn't gonna be freehand routing is the way of the chief. No. So what we're gonna do is really quickly, we're gonna pop into the other workshop and we're gonna make a jig. A jig? A jig. Do a jig. A jig. <laughs> anyway. I think we're gonna make it out of this. So before we do anything, we're gonna wallop a tongue of that there. Let's see what we've got to play with. No point making it oversized, we want it to fit in there. 16 inches. This line doesn't matter, off the machine edge. Give us something to work with. Okay, so that's what we need to lose, but we need to work with our offsets. So let's pop into the other workshop. Straight flute, should go in, should go in deep enough. So we'll set the router up, work out our offset. What are you gonna put around the rim of the window to hold we're gonna the put, glass in place? Uh, well, it's, it, that, the bead's gonna be on the inside. So the glass will be basically probably rebated, I don't know what. And then we're gonna cut a slightly bigger aperture on the inside, which will fit like the beading in it. So the outside, there won't be any beading. So if you wanna change the window, you'll have to change it from the inside, which is fine. That's where you'd wanna do it anyway, I would imagine. So we've just got a straight flute cutter here. Nothing fancy. Quite a big one, I suppose. There you go. Just straight flutes. Get that route. Okay, that's nice and tight. With a big bit like that, you want to make sure you're nice and tight. Just get that out of the way there. And we pop this in. What this gives us is, it gives us an offset and something to run around. So we run around the edge of this it is going to produce a hole on the outside that's slightly circular or has radiuses of the uh, diameter of the um, cutter. So our offset means what we need to do, 10 mil. So eight inches, get that out of the way, pop it down there. So we need to basically make our template 10 mil bigger than what we want to finish at. We want to finish at eight by eight, which we know, so we need to come 10 mil over on all those measurements. 10 mil. 10 mil. 10 mil. Thank <laughs> you. 
Chewing out the window. Chewing out the window. So we need to work out how far we're going in. Cars. Yeah, actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah, we will. Okay, so we're going to go right through it. Okay, I'm afraid this might be a bit squealy, squealy, bang, bang for you, mate. I'll be all right, because I'm going to put these on. And first time ever, I'm going to put these on. So let's have a little look. Yeah, that should do it to start with. Define our edge. You ready? Yeah. Okay, there you go. So that's our first cut. Just getting a little bit caught up on things there. So we'll just... Okay, so let's go a bit deeper. So much deeper. Oh, is it going to come out the bottom? No, not yet. What we have there is that drill bit was just about to chuck that fucking bit. It's quite an aggressive cut we're doing there. But what I've been doing is as I've been machining, I've been watching the shank on that bit and I just, it look, that's even come out finger tight. So the chuck wasn't even, so how much more was it gripping on that? Next to nothing. So yeah, so it had slipped, slipped in the chuck. So let's get that back in. We're asking it to do quite a bit of work there. As long as we go slowly, it should be fine. We can give it a right good nip. Yeah, that should do it. Now we're just gonna run that around again from the start. So. Five mil at a time, eh? So another five. And let's go. Yeah. I can never borrow from no man. How you talking ownership and no no land? I, I, I got my roll on, now rolling. I drive on my cars like the stolen. You got on and put your homies out for okay, ransom. What we got? I got on and put my homies on a program. Girls to me and my team trying to link up. I'll leave 35 mil. Got another 10 mil to go. Will we do it? Wow, that's right up against it. Did you come out of the bottom? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, make a bit of a mess mess, wouldn't it? <sighs> but how close are we, Uncle Al? Five yeah. mil. Uh, what? Five mil? Yeah, about that. So, we just need to now... Is there going to be bursting? There might be. It'd be probably quite cool to film from underneath. 
if you've got those skills. That's why we routed. Because it is a better finish than jigsawing. I suppose the other thing, okay, just watch that. But yeah, so there we go. Yo! Yo, turn out the lights and I'll blow. No. Yeah. Freehand routing is the way of the chief, but jig routing is the way of the boss. The way of the boss. El wayo bossio. Um, I mean, there was, you know, what you could have done there is, I mean, we went in for it kind of bully tactics. Um, what we could have done is we could have gone in with a jigsaw, then made that jig, and then routed out and cleaned up the edges. Uh, but that wouldn't have been any fun. Just tidy that up a touch. I mean, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot that you're asking it to do, but you've just got to peck at it. Go through steady and small increments, and away you go. I think what we'll do is we'll leave that there, mate. Um, we'll maybe just flick it over and just check everything. I think we're going to leave it there today. Reason being is I just need to do a bit of thinking about the glass. Uh, so, how are we going to do this? But what I'm thinking is actually this grill would go on the inside here. The grill would fit around there. It's just a design feature that I just need to just get my head round before we drop it in. So, summarise where we are and say goodbye. We're where we are with the door, goodbye. We are... Well, okay, we've got our aperture in. That is bon. We've got our hand-closed rivets. Brilliant, I'm really pleased we've managed to get that done. We have flamed it. Well, I think we've moved the project along. I mean, that's starting to look like a finished kind of article now. Uh, really bad boy with... article brethren. Yeah, exactly, bad boy article brethren. Uh, great's gonna go on the back, which is gonna look really cool, actually, when we do it. I mean, might see if we've got something in that we could we could make it out of, but I don't think we have. Stop pontificating, it's yeah. boring for the viewers. Okay. Say right. something funny and then bugger off. I don't know what, I can't, I can't just do funny. You can't this do, is this a very do funny. Serious, this is a very serious project. Is it? Yeah. This is blasting us out into Bradford. You know, mm. Bradford. Is it that way? It's that way. I'm really pleased with how far we've got on today. Um, feels like really good progress. <laughs> I would probably get a coat of lacquer on this. 12 to 18 months, these will start rusting up. We've got the sliding bolt kind of cut out ready. In fact, actually, I'll tell you what, let's fit the sliding bolt. How I've only got 15 minutes. We'll do it. It's going to be really easy, mate. Go on, then. Uh, can I just get you to flip this over with me? Hold on. Well, should we turn it off? Turn it off for a minute. OK. Look at that aperture. Brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do? Right, let's get it. Here it is. We've already routed that out. What I've done is I have left us a little bit of meat there, so that means we can make any adjustments to the door, but we shouldn't have to because of the power of measuring. Uh, bang, 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 bang. Just watch your ear holes. Oh. Get that in. Okay, you are in. What do we do now? Get that out of the way. Pull drill, drill, off. drill. Drill, drill, drill. Undersize though. Can you tell what it is yet? I don't know where the fucking things are. You know the little drill? Can you see it anywhere? 
So we're going to drill right over here for these ones. And then what I need to do is I just need to measure up. So we're going to go to kind of about there. I'm going to epoxy them in. No, what I'm doing, we're actually going to use these as is. Now the reason being is that I've undersized these. I've undersized them, so what it should mean is that these should kind of go in and fit nicely. Ah, oh, shit, okay, so that's going over, so it's too tight, that. So, what I've done there is basically I've kind of drilled the hole at five mil and it just isn't like in the, in the slightest, is it? Uh, right, okay, well let's just drill all our holes. lights so we've just got to start it properly okay and then there's lots of banging when we get to work in the dirty shed isn't there but don't they look brilliant they do look brilliant yeah good do you know who made those you me this guy yeah this idiot this this big bozo so you've seen us epoxy these in before, but we've under drilled, so they should be gripping on like basically there's half half a mil, well there's a mil of grip onto these. That isn't gonna move in the oak, i.e. the oak isn't gonna kind of suddenly grow and that. But you can see the force that it's taking to put those in. So I'm happy that they are gonna mechanically hold that, hold that in. I'm just checking on the underside there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll drop this one in. I mean, they look brilliant, don't they? Proper in keeping. Okay, a little peen hammer, I think, would do that. So there we are. Okay, so we've got some of the furniture on. There's more furniture to do. There's a couple of key escutcheons to make. Uh, all in the all, I think that's us for today. Uh, so, yeah, really pleased. It's really moved along. It's really looking like it's coming together. Uh, I think it's bang on brief for um, the two clients, Rachel and Ben. I think they'll be really happy with it. Uh, we are going to ask them if they would like to be in the film, actually. So not that this is asking them, because we'll ask them and we'll find out the answer after this event, or after today, or I'm going to ask him tonight, basically. Drivel that. Yeah, that I know. Pure uh, drivel. <laughs> it was pure crap. <laughs> but Try we are... again. Uh, yeah, so stick with us, and uh, we always say stick with us, like, you know, like it's a massive chore. Hopefully you're enjoying it. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we get an idea that you're enjoying it. Yeah. Right, well, pub, Mark? Pub. Pub. Yep. Good. Right, let's go and have a pint. Yeah, I think, are we having a pint, actually? Yeah. Yeah, let's have a pint. Bye! 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 Bye, Bye YouTube! Bro, do you clinker? Yo.